Hello again and welcome back to part 2. Going back to try and actually use the bonfire that we've just lit and I'm pretty sure we did rest at. Whatever game, I'll believe your lies eventually. <laughs> Was that... did that... I don't think I kicked him off the cliff that hard but you know, sure. <laughs> I'll claim that as my victory. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we had full health when we went to fight that caster. So we must have rested at that bonfire, not just lit it. Oh well, my caffeine addled brain may have missed part of that. Anyway, next time we rest at that bonfire, we should have a lot less trouble. I might come back in from the back entrance. Eh, actually, now we don't have to fight that cook guy. If we can do that correct jump through that gauntlet of goos, we would actually m save time going through the top way and then get to the get to the bonfire before we have to go to the Ooh. Yeah. Then we can get to the bonfire before we have to go collect our corpse, scrape it off the pavement where apparently I wasn't paying attention and, you know, it was Desiccated. Actually, desiccated and dried out. Decimated's probably a better euphemism. No, busy, go away. You too. Ah, oh, Mr. Perry. I do like plunging attacks though. You can actually parry a jumping attack as well. That's quite funny. Yeah. Did he miss his jumping attack completely? A broken straight sword. Oh my god, what if I turn that into the... Was it Sword of Artorias or something? Yeah, not going to happen because most I think most of those weapons are holy and therefore if you're not divine or magic, it's a bit useless to you. They're like the magical equivalent of strength boosted weapons. Right now, noticing of course that the chef is dead for good because he's a mini boss, we carry our tool backward onto the bonfire where we shall kick it wholeheartedly for not actually saving our position. Stupid bonfire. It was entirely the bonfire's fault. I take no responsibility for my own inability to actually click it one extra time. Evidently. Oh, better take some drink of potion. Right, now this is again the bit where you woo, jump. Oh, no, apparently jumping didn't work there either. Well, it has in the past, but, you know. What's a little being squished to death by an ugly old goo between friends? Well, other than gross. No, I'm not going to fight you. I need to get rested. Get back down to that summoner. Stove is facing. Rest at bonfire. Leave. Right, we've definitely rested at this damn thing. So, now it's time to go... Actually, wait, hold on. We can dual equip, can't we? I don't think it will break our weight ratio. Yep, there we go. Winged spear. Now when we're using our spear, we can go pokey pokey without ever putting the shield away. Actually, it might... What's the grass crest shield? Yeah, we want that. It's got less physical damage reduction, but we should be able to do more stabbings. Yeah, we can get three stabs in each time now. Plus, of course, you get the stamina regen. So as soon as we let go, we pretty much fully regen our stamina. Oh, to be young again. Well, not as if I'm not. I guess 30 isn't that old. Wow, look at that regen. All of the regen. If you could take this group out in once, there are five of them, so that would be a multi-kill. Oh, poisoned. Damn it, rat. you got your grossness on my suit. Oh, it's because I'm not using the poison resistance thing. Toy. <laughs> yep, you do need to keep a bunch of those on hand. Assuming you don't want to get murderized. Softly. But you can see it manages to add poison to your poison count even while you're... Um, ah, plunging. Even while you're blocking. Largely because we're not wearing the shield of not getting stabbed to death by poison. Good to take a mental note of that. Right, same dude. 
different fight, hopefully. We're still trying to aggro him and him alone up, but this time we get to pull our full retrieval from the off. Oh, nope, we've pulled a rat. If the rat can come on his own, that would be pleasing. Giggity. Oh, one down. Nope, he's been aggroed. Look, if you're going to aggro, at least come towards me. You know, you can't shoot me. I can't shoot you. This is pointless. And I don't mean the game show. Stab. Oh. Missed. No, seriously, missed. Up your game. Your crap. His spinny attack is pretty nasty, though. Actually, that attack's pretty bad, but... I wonder if we can backstab him. Actually, I don't know if you can backstab with a spear. That would be entertaining to find out. Ooh, he gave us a thousand! Wow, we're almost back up to being worth levelling up. Right. Actually, I am going to keep using the spear, but I'm going to switch shields. This is why I need the PS3 pad. I tried it with the PS4 pad, but I can't reach the options button. Not easily. My hands are too big. I need, you know... I'm claw grip already just to use the circle button. Come on, matey boots. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like I'm always saying, <laughs> drop your shield when you need to. Because you need to regen your stamina. I knew that. <laughs> In the guts. Ooh, that's got to hurt. Does it hurt, rat? Are you dying? You are, aren't you? That does look painful. Right, now, I'm going to finish off the rats in this room, but I'm just going to show you what's in the boxes, because you're probably going to try them yourself anyway. Was that... Did that not kill him with a heavy attack? Oh, well, whatever. Let's go back to my favourite way of doing things. Dragon's Tail Sword and a shield. Right, these crates are going to have rats in them, and they're going to attack you as they jump out. Regardless of if that's a stupid thing to do, they'll do it anyway. Because, hey, they're rats. What intelligence are you attributing to them? Because they don't really have it. And on your left, you will notice the arena for the boss fight of this dungeon. A actually, within walking distance of where you are now. Which is considerate. I think we need a few more souls before it's worth levelling up. But I'm going to go back anyway. Now that we've killed the summoner, let's run back to the bonfire. I think we can get at least one level with this, and then I can probably boost vitality, that would probably help. Either that or endurance. Actually strength would even help. You know, this is a three stat build really. There's only three things you need to put stats in and you just need to pump as many stats into them as you possibly can. When you're using the Drake Sword of course you do need to keep an eye on that you don't break the stat cap with uh, strength because strength doesn't really buff the um, Drake Sword. I think above a certain amount I think it does give you some but generally it's not worth worrying about. It definitely does for the Claymore though, so... Right, let's have a good old sit and think about what we've done. Um, vitality, yeah, we might as well. Level 26, we'll come back if we get some more. It gives us some more health to play around with. I would like... I say I think everyone would like... I would like to get to level 29 before we... Oh wait, hold on. I have a cunning plan, I say, just before... You know, ominously, sounding almost exactly like Baldrick. If you don't get that reference, go watch Blackadder right now. Seriously, you need to know who Baldrick is. This is a sort of basic information, people. Right, rest of the fire. Reverse hol hollowing. Yes. Because this is going to make the boss a hell of a lot easier. Because we'll be human and we can summon the Knight Solaire. And granted, he's going to be sort of cannon fodder. But hey, that makes it easier for me. We just stand back and wait for him to waste all his time. Right now, this fire will always give us 10 potions every time we rest at it. So instead of having 5 potions, well, it doesn't take potions away, but it will only restore up to 5 potions. Now it restores up to 10, which is nice. Oh, no, don't go that way, you idiot. There'll be demons there, or at least horrible gooey things that want to eat your face. Right, the next place we will be going, of course, I know I'm doing this bit few times it does take a few times but like I said if we can get enough XP we can end up 
level 29 before the dragon and just face roll the entire fight. Well, okay, not quite. He can actually kill us in about one hit if he stomps on us. But, you know, what are numbers between friends and, you know, enemies and such. Jumpies. Jumpy rat. Yep, jumpy rat. Missed us completely, but whatever. See if we can't get plunging attack again. Yeah. Nope, missed. Hey, wait, did I do damage to him just by falling on him? That just tells you how heavy our armor is. <laughs> Blunt. Attack with a magical dragon sword. 125 damage. Attacked because I fell on you. <laughs> Five damage. For everything else, there's Master Card. Damn, like, that's deeply programmed, right? Right. Killing these rats again. Luckily, we will get to come back via the back route. Uh, any one of you? Yep. One at a time. We will get to come back via the back route, which is nice. And then uh, use the... Oh! Use the bonfire to level up at before we have to go fight the dragon. But that's one of the reasons I want to be human, because there's a sort of almost PvP bot fight that you can have if you go down the right way. Oh! Yeah, and he's dead. Let's go kill the other rats. I mean, they do zero damage and give us, like, 26 XP. Worth it. So if we do that... But I think the boss gives us, like, 6,000 souls or something. Definitely worth doing. And he's really not that hard if you can parry. Again, if you haven't learned how to parry, go search YouTube for the How to Parry videos. It's the way I learnt it. It's very straightforward, and that's why I don't really like parrying in Dark Souls 2, because there's no sort of single strategy or pattern you can begin to learn it's so different for every shield and it also every weapon that you have to parry against so it's almost like a crapshoot which is why I love this game so much more because it's just like you learn your shield you know how it parries when a sword comes towards you you smash their face in well you parry and then smash their face in sorry right you have to take that damage falling down that water slide just go we and then um don't worry. Right, there is a basilisk down here. He is staring in this direction. You basically have to fight him. Uh, good luck. Because if he curses you, it's instant death. Not possible death. Not anything sensible. Just literally, hey, you're going to die. So I am really nervous. Oh, thank God. But did you see that curse meter? It goes up really quickly. And it can kill you so quickly. That's why I'm not going into the Basilisk's lair, which is basically down that corridor. But if you don't kill that Basilisk first, then he will follow you because he will have spotted you. Because, I mean, did you see the eyes on that thing? He, he will have spotted you around this corner and fight what Toby or whatever the stupid dude's name is. Not a rat? Not a rat. Ah, rat. That uh, Dark Knight Kirk. It's not Toby. Not quite Toby. Kirk. Right, that is what would happen if you were getting invaded in PvP. This dude isn't a PvP though, so, you know, go nuts. Unfortunately, whatever he's got doesn't make the correct connecting sounds, which makes it harder to gauge when you've actually struck him. But he is not, you know, the hardest of all enemies. So, certainly if you can riposte, like I said. He dead? Yes, he's dead. Right, now do wait around. Dark Spirit Kirk was vanquished. Retrieve his power. Yep, 5,938 extra souls. Oh, and a spike shield, which is actually rubbish. Because it just... It, basically, it's the Thorns effect, if you know what Thorns effect is. Magical returning damage to sender. It's basically going, return to sender. I do not want this damage. You take it away. Right, now these things, again, are the same goos as were up top. Do chain attacks. Use the light attack, because if you want to kill them like sort of this century you're going to want to actually do the damage to them and the higher damage comes with the higher combo chains I'm just going to kill these little bits oh goop from behind me you sneaky ninja goo you we don't actually have to kill these on the way back which is why I'm killing them now because I do want their souls swallow your soul but I don't want to waste valuable time on our run towards the demon. 
Right, rat, rat. I'm gonna leave the shield equipped for the um, dragon fight, but there is something you ought to know about the dragon fight. He does do a move that looks like he's about to charge, and instead of charging, he pukes everywhere. Do not, whatever you do, do not touch his puke. It will melt the um, strength, what's it called? Um, the repairability of your armor. Durability, that's the word. And you will basically end up hitting him with a melted toothpick wearing your underpants. It is, yeah, it is worth avoiding at all costs. Granted, most of most attacks are worth avoiding at all costs, but this one especially is, you know, getting wrecked. Right, up to the top of the stairs. Now we can level up a bit more. Oh, goody. Right, let's buff those two stats. I'd like to have more vitality, but eh, what can you do? We're at level 28. Actually, we could. I could do something... Um, I rarely do. Right, find one of the large souls. So, Soul of a Proud Knight. You use it. Gives you a bunch more souls. So, we find the next one. We need about 4,000 and something. Use again. Normally, I use this stuff to level up my equipment. But I just I want to be on the right sort of stat level. Rest the bonfire. Level up. No, we need 5,200. So... I mean, it's not making any difference re-resting at the bonfire. It's not like they can re-come back to life. I'm not going to waste the Moonlight Butterflies. So, as I understand it... Oh, just enough. As I understand it, it's... There we go, Vitality. It's only worth a thousand. I mean, for the effort we put in ganking the bugger, I think it would be worth more than a thousand. But, hey, it's not my choice. I didn't make the damn game. Die, you. I mean, it'll kill you every single time. Right now, luckily of course, I mean Kirk is vanquished, he will never be back, he's a mini boss, he's dead, he's gone, don't worry about him. But we can take the shortcut to our boss. We're probably at an okay level, our armour probably hasn't been too damaged by what we've been getting up to. We can't level up any more before the boss because we're going straight there for now. So it's just a case of try not to get shanked too much on your way. There. If you've got any green herb, that would also be handy. If you're using a weapon that isn't uh, special like this dragon sword um, so that you can put golden pine resin, i.e. electricity on it, definitely do that because this, I think this dragon, in fact I think all dragons in this game are weak to electricity. So, you know, keep that in mind. There is also a vendor just near where we just were who will sell you gold pine resin. I think he's got three of them, so you know you can you can get more if you already used up your supply, which you know I probably have at this point. Right, assuming you're human at this point, you can find Solaire here. Now on the other side, you can find Dickbag himself, the Knight Latrec. There, I am not summoning the Knight Latrec because he actually makes the fight harder. I know he is intended to be a companion or whatever they call it. But he's just an ass. He really is not a nice guy. Right. I am going to cut the video there. I know that's a bit of a tease, but we'll, we'll do the dragon in part three. I hope to see you in part three.